My name is Mary, and this is my No Buy Year. This is the sum total of all of my pencil products. And I have to preface this declutter with the idea that this purge is not so that I'm making room for new inventory. This purge is part of my 2019 No Buy Year and is inspired by the spring urge to re declutter, the spring urge to tidy up, the spring urge to get all of my stuff in order so that over summer break I'm able to really maximize that short time off from school. So without further ado, this is not encouraging that hype and buy fever that we all succumb to at times. I just need to clear out the clutter and I certainly have some products that are over a decade old I'm embarrassed to reveal and now is the time to get rid of those. Even if the Marie Kondo craze weren't all over Western culture currently, I would still go through this type of spring purge. It has been far too long. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide all of these liners which include lip and eye products into two piles. Those that I know I'm going to keep and those that I either am not sure about or that I need to do a little more research on before I decide. And generally I am pulling out the ones that I currently use or that I currently expect to use. Okay, I'm going to set these aside and we will discuss this pile in a moment. I'm just going to talk about each item as I decide either to pull it into my rotation in order to use to be able to determine whether I enjoy it or not or into the discard pile. Now the discard pile, I have a couple friends who probably I will just box this up in a little care package to one or two of them. All right, so first up we have this little deluxe sample size Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner that came with one of the palette collections that I purchased. And this product, I just went and let my dog out and I've got it all over my hands without hardly even opening the pencil. That does not bode well for this product. It is a smudgy, greasy, disgusting mess. It doesn't appear to be coming up, in fact. Let's just call that garbage. Oh my gosh, it is even more smudged over my hands. I don't know how that happens. This goes in the trash pile. I have a little packet of Clinique Take the Day Off Wipes, which I'm using off camera here to remove those sorts of disasters. Okay, next up we have a Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in the shade Glazed Toffee. Now, this is a waterproof pencil. It is. It does require a sharpener. I have a funny story about that, but uh, when I first, actually maybe it twists up. When, it, when I first got back into makeup, I have a friend, Dan, who sells Clinique, and I texted him in a panic because I thought that the pencil, none of my pencils were coming up when I turned the back end of them. Now it turns out that it seems like a plastic material with a twirly base, but actually this is a pencil that you need to sharpen. They just make them out of this kind of plastic material now, which is sharpenable. So I had a, we all had a good laugh about that. All right, so I'm going to just swatch that there. That is a fairly smooth gel liner, which I do enjoy. I'm going to put that into a pile to bring into rotation. Because another thing I'm becoming increasingly aware of is I'm developing a bit into a bit of a makeup snob. And 
I sort of want to address that in my collection. There is certainly a place for low-end slash drugstore product, and I'm not going to throw away product just because it's not high-end product. Okay, this is a this is an Ulta automatic eyeliner in the shade Deep Brown. I do not know if this is smudge proof or waterproof. It is a, I would say a, an umber like fairly, very similar in tone to the Maybelline that I swatched on the left hand side. So I will keep that in rotation. I just don't need too low end. So I'm going in a few minutes when these have had a chance to set. I will give them a smudge test and we will we will see which is the winner. Okay, these two pencils are solidly drugstore. They are NYC brand Cole Brow Eyeliner Pencil. I believe I purchased this with that intent that they were sort of dual purpose brow slash eyeliners. I have no need for a gray eyeliner, gray eyebrow pencil. These drag quite a bit as they're going across the eye, and I feel I'm going to pass these on. Okay, this is a larger size of the Tarte Sex Kitten. I'm not even going to open this. I'm going to put this in the pile for my friend. Two products that are embarrassingly old Garden Botanica used to be a little makeup shop in the mall in Northern Virginia where I lived with my parents briefly after college many, many, many moons ago. This is garbage. This is also likely the same age. It is a lip pencil and it's just so old it would truly be a risky thing to use on your lips. The Makeup for Makeup Forever sticks. I have a black and a red. And these were Sephora gifts with purchase. And I am just not interested in them. They're smudgy. They do not set down. This is the only true red lip pencil I own. But it's more of a berry red and it's not very tenacious. As you can see, that really rubs down to nothing. So these two I will pass on to my friend. The other shade was black. Okay, this is a Sephora pencil. I'm going to set that aside because I do enjoy that. This is a discard. Another one I'll pass on to my friend if she's interested in it. It's a Tardis pencil, lip pencil in the shade Bubbly. Bubbly, very pinky. Nude. Goes on nicely. Not as tenacious as I like, so I'm going to pass that on. I like a lip pencil to really stay, stain my lips and grip my lipstick that I put on top. Okay. This is a Rimmel lip liner, full color lip liner in the shade in the shade 45 epic. I do enjoy this pencil. It has more of that tenacity. It has a it's probably my brownest leaning pencil. I'm going to put this into my rotation keep pile. This is an Ulta Beauty eyeliner. This was probably part of a gift with purchase gift bag scenario. Goes on nicely. I enjoy the plum color. Black I generally stay away from. Don't I don't gravitate to black eyeliners very often, but that plum has a nice neutralish shift to it. So I believe I will Attempt to put that into rotation. This Clinique Brow Quick Liner for Eyes is just kind of a smudgy mess. It 
does not set down the way I like them to. I will swatch it next to the Maybelline and the Ulta, and in a few moments I'll see whether those really set down, but I'm, I just do not reach for this. I'm passing this on to my friend. Now, both of these other brown liners have fairly decent stain powder, but the honestly, the Maybelline is holding up better than the Ulta, so I'm going to pass on the Ulta. Okay, this is ancient. This is ancient. This needs to go away. It's going into the trash can. I have no idea what brand it is. It, Ulta Lip Pencil in the color Petal. I feel that that is a useful color. I'm going to hang on to it for now. I will put that into rotation. I have two little Konique brow pencils in the shade Soft Brown, and they are very fine. I had totally forgotten about them. Oh, this one might be empty. This one is empty. This one has just the barest little nub. So I'm going to trash that. And this one has a little more life to it, so I will put this one back in rotation. It is a nice soft brown, fairly fine, and I enjoyed rediscovering that from the bottom of my drawer. Okay, that reminds me, I still have a Brow Wiz, which I have snapped a bit off accidentally. This is my pattern with this product. You can see that it is loose and it tends to fall out, which I find incredibly obnoxious. It does drag more than that Clinique. It is a yellowier color than the Clinique, and I feel that I'm going to pass that on to my friend because it's too warm for me. This is a, the Clinique is a much better color. The Anastasia Brow Wiz is in the color blonde, and it is too red for me. I need it. I need my brows to be more of a taupey color. Okay, this is a Clinique lip liner in the shade Intense Licorice, which I will keep because it's very unique. I have nothing else in this color family. And in the rare occasion that I like to vamp it up, this is perfect. Now I have two ink liners. One is a Bobbi Brown Was a Gift with Purchase, which has a lovely fine tip. And the other is Clinique, which I purchased because of Hot and Flashy, an internet recommendation. Now, I just don't wear liquid liner very often, I will, but these are not terribly old. They were both purchased in 2018. This gift with purchase was definitely 2018, so I will hang on to those in case I ever feel the urge to wing it out with a liquid liner. All right, one more Ulta lip liner before I get into these little Clinique pencils. And this lip liner is... Automatic lip liner in the shade Rose. Now, roses, roses and nudes are my jam. This is very similar in tone to the other Ulta pencil that I swatched right here. Uh, do I need three in the same color family? Likely not. Do I know which one is more durable? Not yet. So these I need to pull into rotation in order to make a better decision. This was a gift set of five Clinique eyeliners. It is in the formula Skinny Stick and five assorted colors. One is a deep purplish navy. The other is more of a marine blue. Then we have a tealish green, black, and a gold color. 
Now these are just not permanent. They are, oh, that just crumbled off. That does not speak well for the formula. There are little twist ups and they are not as tenacious or long wearing as my Urban Decay set that I purchased right before Christmas. Mm, it's an awful lot of them, but I'm going to pass them on. I just never reach for them. They tend to f drip little flakes into my eyeballs. and um, Not that I want this gift to be a white elephant for my friend, but I feel that I just never reach for them. Okay, we are currently dipping into the pencils that I pulled aside as pencils that I use regularly. Now, I will go over them on camera in part to inventory them as part of my no buy collection because I have not done that yet with my pencil products and in part to swatch them so I can tell the difference between some of the lip shades. So starting with this Lancome lip pencil in the color Charm, I do enjoy this. This came as part of a gift with purchase. I'm going to swatch it here on the back of my arm. This one is a lovely nude and I do find myself reaching for it. Generally, I keep it in my purse. This is my jam. This other short pencil is an Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 18 Nude. This came as a gift with purchase, and it has slightly more yellow-brown than the Lancome. Both of these are colors I wear. This one actually reads a little more orange to me. And we'll hang on to both of those. This is a Laura Geller lip pencil that, I have no idea when I purchased this, but not either 2017 or 2018, it's in the shade Blossom. More peachy than the oranger um, Estee Lauder and the more nude, sorry, Lancome. I also have a NYX lip pencil in lip liner in the shade Natural. SPL 810, it's there, it's just called NYX lip, lip liner. And I do reach for that quite often. It's good under roses. That is just about it for my lip pencils. I feel that I do have some gaps in my collection. I won't be filling those gaps, but these do a good job covering the range of nude, nu neutral lips that I generally go for. These two are perhaps the most similar. And then we have the iconic Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat, one I had purchased and one came with a lipstick Nordstrom set in the anniversary sale last year. I do really, really love this color on me. It is my lips but better. It has excellent gripping ability. It's very long lasting and I have a full size because of that pencil that came with the two lipsticks from the anniversary sale at Nordstrom. I love these. They are my favorite pencils, lip pencils. Okay, we are down to eye pencils. I have a set of Physicians Formula eyeliners, which I do use and do enjoy in the color. And these come in a three pack. They're available at any drugstore. This one is called, they are called the Physician Formula Shimmer Strips. Smoky Eye is a silvery metallic. They are twist up, which I find convenient. I tend to destroy my pencils with physical pencil sharpeners. Smoky Eyes is the black. Well, this is also called Smoky Eyes. Isn't that obnoxious? Anyway. 
we have a metallic silver, black, and a slightly shimmery steel gray. I enjoy them all. I do use them. Okay, I'm going to talk about my little set of Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencils, Glide-On eye pencils. This was a holiday set. I really love these. I don't tend to reach for this, although this shimmery champagne-y color I feel would be good in the waterline of my lower lid. They are lovely. This is a purple color. These crayons are waterproof. They are long-lasting, and I adore them. This one is a metallic navy. Almost reads as navy with a ultramarine shift to it. This one has a clear shift. We have a perversion. This is a mini size of one of their cult favorites, black. And then we have Starfire, which is a copper color. I love all of these. And I do reach for them fairly routinely. I like these two most for just everyday work appropriate eyeliner that is not black. Keeping those. Okay, we are down to four. This is the Sephora Waterproof Contour Eye Pencil in the shade Fifth Avenue. It is a matte pencil. It is just off black. It is a deep, deep gray, and I love it. That one needs to be sharpened. As you'll see, most of my traditional pencils do need to be sharpened. This is the classic eye powder pencil from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade, I believe it's called Audrey. I will list it below. A deep, rich brown, which I adore. Two other browns in my collection. I have the Urban Decay Demolition, which is a true mess. My, I had a mishap with my sharpener. Glides on, it is absolutely lovely. Very similar in tone to the Charlotte Tilbury. And it looks like I chewed on it, but I have not. I have not been chewing on my pencils. And then the Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner in the shade Earthquake. And that I will swatch right here. These three are very similar in tone, but honestly, they are my go-tos. The Marc Jacobs, I feel, probably travels the most on my lower lid. If I were going to get rid of any of them, I would get rid of this one. But I just wear this color all the time. So, um, And this one ha has that added convenience of a twist up top with a built-in sharpener. So I am reluctant to get rid of it, even though it travels a little bit on my lower lash line. All right, so these are the keepers. Twenty seven. And I will separate the lips from the eyes. Most of those are eye pencils. Twenty seven keepers. Keeping twenty seven. Ten of them are lip pencils. Seventeen are eye pencils. And these are my giveaways for my friend. Fourteen are being repurposed. 
just so you know this is my little box of products which will be my care package for my friend a couple serums that i don't enjoy a clinique foundation which was a gift with purchase it's just not my shade and some other products that i am still adding to because i am enjoying this process of decluttering I'm just coming back to you with one addendum. I have decided to let go of the Maybelline. I just have so many of these slightly cooler browns as an eyeliner and it is a more preferred shade for me. So I'm getting rid of the Maybelline. And then for the purple, for the plum, I just prefer if I'm going plum to go with that something that reads more purple from a distance so I just did not feel that I was being brutal enough with my purge so these two are going into that care package box for my friend thank you for making it this far if you enjoyed this content or if you're interested in doing or following a no buy year I hope you consider hitting subscribe below I appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Ciao.